Hello again everyone, this is Harbinger and I'm just back to give you a quick rundown on my next project. Still in the very early stages of the build, uh, but I think I have everything planned out in a way that will work as smoothly as possible. Talked about this possibility briefly at the end of my last video and I mentioned it once on Reddit, but wanted to announce uh, official plans now that I have everything mapped out and have myself committed to the project. My goal is to make what I'm going to call the Redstone Animation Studio, and I'll cover all of its planned features here in just a second after I touch on the differences between this and my last monstrosity. Builds heavily on the, uh, the last system, uh, which was just a simple five-frame animation on my dot matrix display. That build implemented uh, basically a static set of only 41 pixels out of the possible 100. The other 59 were wired to stay off since they weren't going to be used in the animation. This time what I'm doing is wiring every pixel into the driver. Uh, this will give full control over the entire display. And I'm also going to extend the driver and increase the maximum number of frames to 16 over the 5 that were in there previously. The system will still be wired to a counter and a clock to cycle through the animation, but this time I'm also going to include a programmable reset into the counter. That way the user can dynamically set the number of frames that the system loops through. And there will also end up being a selector switch that will allow you to change the frequency of the clock so that you can speed up or slow down the animation and, and tweak it. Once this build is complete, uh, of course it's going to be up for download for, for everyone to play around with. Um, still going to take some time to program in your own animations, but the process itself is going to be pretty straightforward. And there's going to be a detailed read me explaining how to do this, and uh, there's going to be, of course, a lot of labeling and signage throughout the course of the project to guide you through it. This was kind of always my end game plan for this system um, when I built the Minecraft and Minecraft animation. It was basically just a proof of concept so that I could see if I could get the active pixels on the display to update simultaneously. Once I saw how smoothly things could cycle, uh, the next obvious step was to ramp up the, the size and the functionality of it. Really have no idea what kind of time frame there's going to be for this to get completed. Um, it's going to end up being a lot of testing and tweaking once the building is done before I'm going to want to actually release it, just to get all the timing right and make it as smooth as I can. But if it looks like it's going to take a really long time, I'll, I'll probably try to give some progress reports along the way. But hoping that uh, some of you with much more skill in, in the form of pixel art decide to take this, play around with it a little bit. I say I'm going to make it nice and easy so that you don't really need to know anything about redstone to be able to uh, to be able to take advantage of the system so hopefully it won't take me too long to get things complete um, I say I'll, I'll be giving progress reports along the way but look forward to uh, getting this complete and seeing what people are able to do with it, it uh, it'll hopefully be a fun system to play around with and just a matter of time before I get it completed. It's it's going to take a while because it uh, very very large. You can actually see right here most of the wiring for uh, that's actually just for the bottom 40 pixels. I'm gonna have to make a couple more rows above that to control the rest of them. From the uh, from the far left to the far right, as much as you can see, every other line run on the ground is a line of is a long line of redstone that uh, each controls a pixel since there have to be 40 lines on the ground and then spaces in between each of them we're already at 80 wide without even putting in the uh, without even putting in the driver without putting in the decoder and then I'll have to find room for the counter and the clock to go in there somewhere as well but it's going to look like a monster, but it'll be nice and easy to control, and hopefully a lot of fun to play around with. So, I'll check back up with you when I can, and I will get back to work. Thank you for watching.